Dann. Once upon a time, in a far away kingdom, there lived a beautiful queen and a handsome king. The queen was not only beautiful, but she was kind and generous. Her people loved her dearly. She always helped people and wanted her country to always be in abundance. The queen always longed to have a daughter. One day, as she sat embroidering by the window, she daydreamed of her future daughter. In a daze, she accidentally pricked her finger with her embroidery needle. The blood from her finger dripped onto the white fabric she was embroidering. At that very moment, a shooting star crossed the sky. The queen made a wish. Dear God, please send me a daughter. Let her be so beautiful that everyone admires her. Let her have pink cheeks, black hair like mine, her lips as red as this drop of blood, her eyes as bright as diamonds, and her skin as white as this very cloth. She should always smell like the flowers in my garden. Let her teeth be as white as the pearls on my neck. A short time after that, her wish came true, and she shared the good news with the king and announced that they were expecting a baby. My queen, wish what you will from me. I'll get you the most wonderful gift. My health is not as good as it used to be. What I ask of you is to protect our child from all evil. Please promise me that you'll protect her. There's nothing more I wish for. When the time came, the queen gave birth to a very beautiful girl. Just as she had wished for, her daughter had black hair, red lips, bright eyes, skin as white as snow, and smelled like flowers. They named her Snow White because of the whiteness of her skin. <laughs> Soon after, the queen's health deteriorated and she passed away. The young king was very sad. While he mourned his beloved wife, he also tried to raise Snow White as best he could. When Snow White turned five, a big ball was organized at the palace. The king was celebrating his daughter's birthday and also choosing a new queen. At the ball, there was a beautiful woman who had magical powers. She used these powers to dance with the king and cast a spell on him and married the king and became the queen. Snow White's stepmother was a very beautiful woman, but she was also vain, cruel, and evil. From the day she arrived at the palace, she despised Snow White. She saw her as her rival. The queen also had a magic mirror. She always consulted the mirror about the future and would ask, Mirror, mirror, on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? My dear queen, it's you. You're the most beautiful woman in the world. And so, time passed by. Snow White became a very beautiful young girl. Those who saw her could not look away. As she strolled in the palace gardens, the wind that brushed her hair would spread her flowery scent. Birds and butterflies would always follow her around. And her voice was so heavenly that when she sang, birds in the gardens would go silent and listen to her. One day, the queen asked her mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? My queen, you are very beautiful, but the most beautiful girl is Snow White. The jealous and cruel queen got so angry that she held the bottle in her hand at the magical mirror. How? How is that possible? No one's more beautiful than me. Summon the princess at once. Meanwhile, she had locked up the king in the palace dungeon and told everyone that he was away working for his people. She also summoned the palace hunter and gave him strict orders. I want you to kill Snow White. 
and bring your heart to me as proof. Snow White, who had no idea of her fate, came to see the evil queen. Dear Snow White, you haven't been out for days. You must be bored inside the castle. I'd like you to bring me some strawberries from the forest. This way you'll be able to get some fresh air. You'll have a good time. Don't worry. I'll send you my trustworthy hunter with you. As the princess picked strawberries with the hunter, they got deep into the forest. The poor hunter was very sad. How can I harm someone with such a good heart and such beauty? There must be another way. The hunter couldn't bring himself to kill her. They sat under a tree and he told her about the queen's evil plan. My princess, please go far away. If the queen finds out what I've done, she will kill both of us. He immediately hunted an animal and brought its heart to the queen. <laughs> uh -huh. The princess spent the night under that tree. She was so scared. At dawn, she went on her journey. After a long walk, she reached a small house and went inside. She looked around in amazement. What is this place? Everything is so small and there's seven of everything. Seven small chairs, seven pairs of forks and spoons. Since she was so hungry, she made soup with the ingredients she found in the house. She ate and went upstairs. <sighs> and then she fell asleep in one of the small beds. At night, the house owners returning from the mine were actually the seven dwarves. Their names were Doc, Dopey, Happy, Grumpy, Sneezy, Bashful, and sleepy. Hey, what's this? <laughs> it smells like delicious soup. Mm. Oh. <laughs> it's like someone entered the house. Come, look, there's a girl sleeping here. The commotion woke up Snow White. She was scared when she first saw them. She then told them everything that happened to her. My name is Snow White. I don't mean any harm. I don't have a place to go. That's why I took shelter here. Please, let me stay. Of course, princess. We are not going to let you stay alone in a forest. Don't worry. <laughs> you are our first guest who makes such delicious soup. <laughs> Time passed by, days and weeks. Snow White and the Seven Dwarves were laughing, having fun together, and living a peaceful life. <laughs> Meanwhile, the evil queen, not knowing that Snow White was still alive, asked the mirror again. Mirror, mirror, on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? <laughs> My queen, you're beautiful, but Snow White, who lives with the seven dwarves, is more beautiful. Ah! How's this possible? The hunter must have lied to me! First, I will get rid of Snow White, and then I will teach the hunter a lesson. She immediately worked on an evil plan. She poisoned an apple and disguised herself as an old woman to trick Snow White. Hello! Anybody home? I'm so hungry and I ran out of food! The seven dwarves had warned Snow White to not open the door to anyone. 
But Snow White felt sorry for the old woman that came to her door, and so let her in without a doubt. Please come in. Welcome. Thanks, my child. I got so tired and hungry in the forest. Do you have something to eat? Yes, of course. I have some soup. After finishing her soup, the evil queen disguised as the old woman offered the poisoned apple to Snow White. The princess took a bite and fell on the floor, huh? falling asleep. <laughs> the old woman turned back into the evil queen and happily went back to her palace. When the seven dwarves who came back from the mine in the evening saw her laying on the floor, they thought that she had died and so were very sad. We should make her eternal sleep comfortable. Let's make a nice bed for her. A handsome prince, who was walking through the forest, heard the seven dwarves crying. He got curious and approached them. Oh my, what's going on here? He was very surprised when he looked to see who was laying in the crystal bed surrounded by flowers. She was the girl who had been in his dreams for days. The smell of her hair was still all over the forest. Who is this beautiful girl? Her name is Snow White. We haven't been able to wake her up. They told the prince everything that had happened. The prince lifted the crystal cover to give a farewell kiss to the girl of his dreams. He kissed her on the cheek. At that moment, something unexpected happened. The spell broke and a miracle occurred. Snow White opened her eyes and got up in bed. The seven dwarves and the prince were very happy. You are the girl of my dreams, Snow White. This is the best day of my life. Will you marry me? First, I need to find my father and tell him about everything that happened, and also get his blessing. They went back to the palace and got the king out of the dungeon. The evil queen fled in fear. The prince and Snow White got married and lived happily ever after. <laughs> hey guys! Subscribe to our channel Kondo-san and watch the most popular fairy tales, cartoons, and nursery rhymes. Don't forget to click the bell for notifications.